tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Hi folks, uh, this is Maya 2020 now, uh, and I just want to point you to something which is pretty uh, uh, trivial. It seems tri trivial, but it uh, has a big effect. Let's create uh, this um, object here. Scale it up just a little bit. Uh, radius right here. Okay. When you right mouse click, you can uh, choose a new material. The new material is typically Arnold, a standard AI standard surface shader. Just keep this in, in memory. AI standard surface. But we don't want to do this. The much easier way to access a new shader is right mouse click and then you go to existing material. Let me actually do this a little bit further up here so you can see it properly. Assign an existing material and here you find the Lambert shader. This is the gray Lambert shader which you currently see on our object. But here this is the new one, standard surface. It's not AI standard surface, it's not an Arnold shader, it's a Maya shader. And the advantage is that it's compatible with all kinds of rendering engines, not only Arnold, V-Ray, RenderMan, etc. So this is a, the new standard surface shader which you might want to use here. And um, you find the attributes here and they are a little bit similar to what you see in the Arnold AI standard surface shader, slightly restricted. So the sophisticated materials for that purpose you probably need the Arnold shader anyway. But the presets are interesting too, moving a little bit out of the recording screen here. But you can see that they have to do with the Arnold AI standard surface shader because car paint, ceramic, clay, frosted glass, incandescent bulb, milk, plastic, velvet, they kind of remind us of what is happening in the AI standard surface shader of Arnold. I choose the velvet silk here and the velvet silk has, if you go down to the sheen, it has the sheen weight all the way up with this sheen color here, like a velvet sh uh, silk material. Now uh, I want to show you something which is not new in my 2020, but uh, has been around for quite a while and um, this is a little hack really. Uh, I, I really find it quite interesting. So let me change from the mouse to the graphics tablet. Where is my pen? The pen is right here. I love graphic tablets and uh, they are much better for your arm and your hand. Anyway, we go to sculpting now and we use one of these tools, this one for example, and you need to move all the way out in order to see the radius of your manipulation because uh, I want to have a smaller radius. Press and hold B for brush and with a mouse or with a pen you just scale it down like this. And then you can get a little bit closer again and you, then you can rescale it if you like. And uh, that's actually what I'll do. Press and hold B and scale it a little bit down. Now I'll paint. And I paint these little mountains here as you can see on the silk surface. And actually I want to choose the Arnold rendering which will provide us with black because we need an Arnold light and we create a sky dome light. So we see the mesh probably here with the mountains we just painted. B again and smaller radius and we paint something right here. Now comes the hack. You see all these little mountains here. And now you go to the polydisc menu here. You have three sides, you have a circle, you have subdivisions three, and you have a radius. That's the radius we introduced in the first place. Now, how about going from subdivisions three to subdivisions six? Be careful with this value because when you land at 10, Maya might actually crash. And this is the hack. Is that nice? So we started painting in a very crude way on a very simple surface and now we add subdivisions here and we get these little pokey things right here. If we continue painting now here, 
on this surface we get bigger ones because we're in a different scale now with a different res resolution now so let me undo this because they really look excellent as I said be careful with subdivisions let's go up to 7 so they get thinner and to 8 I don't want to risk 10 though because already now my slowing down a little bit because the geometry is so so dense now you have these excellent pokey objects here and go back to three this is how we started and when we go back to two we get this very crude vision here let's go back to seven and we have this now we can change the sides for example seven sides so these objects move around now what you also can change is going from circle to well triangles then you have this object here and with this i leave you for now of course you can animate this and i uh, wish you a good day bye bye